The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost VPN. Apple is following you. How to catch a pedo. But first, FBI versus the hackers. Welcome to The Red Couch, the web show about your internet freedom and security. Last August, the FBI declared victory over the global hacking collective Anonymous. FBI honcho Austin P. Burglass told the Huffington Post that Anonymous members are now just yakking on Twitter. But how can we know? Spies who cannot make public their identities declare they've crushed hackers whose names are secret. But now in November, an FBI document says that Anonymous has been hacking government computers and stealing sensitive information for over a year. What's going on here? The FBI does not know what the FBI is doing? Or possibly the Bureau wants to release information showing that Anonymous is alive and dangerous. But why now? Well, a US court last week sentenced hacker Jeremy Hammond to 10 years in jail, despite the fact that he was working with the FBI and the judge in the case had a potential conflict of interests. Hammond was sentenced for releasing thousands of emails from private intelligence firm Stratfor into the public domain. But he claims he was working as a puppet for the Bureau. Hammond said he was choreographed by an FBI informant, Sabu, who gave him information which allowed him to hack into the government websites of Brazil, Turkey and Iran. This implies that the FBI is aiding hackers to attack foreign governments stealing the information and then slamming the hackers in prison. Judge Preska is married to an associate and client of Stratfor and is therefore a victim of the hacking. Preska argued that the connection would not affect her ability to be impartial. I don't think so. If the judge in the sentencing of Hamburglar was married to Mayor Cheese, I think there'd be a conflict of interests. Welcome to American Justice. The FBI is guilty, the judge is the victim, but a 28-year-old activist ends up behind bars. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost 5, a virtual private network that allows you to surf the web securely and gives you anonymity online. Pedophiles, the fun stops here. The glory days of being a molester are over. No longer can they type, I want to see child porn, into Google or Bing and expect to be satisfied. Even if they type kiddie porn, boy porn, or baby porn into these search engines, the cops will be onto them. Under new measures launched by Microsoft and Google, they will censor users' access to child abuse in over 150 languages. But even Google boss Eric Schmidt admitted there's no quick technical fix for shutting down child abuse. This may stop the idiot pedos, the part-time pedos, and the weekend pedos. But most pedos are not uploading videos to YouTube called Man Boy Love or En Garçon d'Amour. The UK and the US have also launched a joint task force to combat the dark web where lie the Einsteins of the pedo underground. But most pedos are no longer using the internet. Instead, they're using one of these devices, which they slip into this and send through an innovative channel known as the post. Hey cops, save our kids, get Pedo smart. Apple could be following you around its shops. With the new iBeacon indoor positioning system, Apple can track your movements in store and target you as you browse fixtures and apps. As you examine an iPhone 5S, a mail might appear on your existing phone, which says something like, Loser, what are you doing with an iPhone 4? Don't you know everyone hates you? Your mother hates you. Your dog hates you. Your girlfriend hates you. She's having an affair with your dog and your mother. Get a life. Get a 5S. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, I will. 